Squirm, 1976, directed by Jeff Lieberman, starring Don Scardino, Patricia Percy, and Peter McLean. A bad thunderstorm knocks out some power lines near a small town, which electrocutes the ground and turns the worms in the soil into ravenous killers. This film was recommended by a fan, thanks for the suggestion. 70s films are always strange. I don't know how the decade did this to its films, but they're all always off kilter. The premise for this film is your standard fair bug film. You already know the setup. Bugs go bad, people die, bugs are stopped somehow. Nothing out of the ordinary here. It's the characters in this film that are bizarre, though. This film is stuffed with weirdos. Jerry is a country girl that doesn't want to settle for a simple life in her small town. Mick is a city boy that visits Jerry and is treated like a menace to society by the townspeople for no reason. Mrs. Sanders, the matriarch of Jerry's family, seems like she's in the early stages of dementia. Alma is Jerry's awkward pot-smoking sister, who seems to have problems walking around in her giant heels. Sheriff Reston hates Mick, hates the pranks he accuses him of pulling, and likes doing it in one of the jail cells. But wait, there's more! Strangest of all is Jerry's smitten neighbor, Roger, a second-generation worm farmer who gets attacked by the worms and then goes crazy? Gets possessed? I don't quite understand what happens with the worm ambassador here. He just sort of starts showing up where the worms are and stares from a distance. Mick inadvertently says the creepiest line in the entire film, though. He says, I like a good thunderstorm. Makes you feel helpless. What kind of getting to know you in your small town small talk is that? Legendary makeup effects wizard Rick Baker did the effects for this film. Unfortunately, he didn't really get to do much in this one, aside from a handful of impressive shots, as they largely used genuine worms and even impacted the local fishing industry in the process that year. Apparently, electrified worms scream. Who knew? Oddly, Jeff Lieberman would go on to write the script for... Never Ending Story 3. Verdict? Thumbs down. No doubt an extremely memorable film thanks to its bizarre characters, but I'm afraid this film is better suited as worm food. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.